What's up, everybody? Welcome to a Let's Play of Combat Evolved Halo Anniversary Edition. I'm your host, Darkshot2. That's my abbreviation for my gamer tag, which is Great Darkshot2, in case you guys didn't know. So, in this playthrough, I'm going to be taking you through each and every single mission in this game, showing you where the skulls are, where the terminals are, and the side achievements also. For the record, guys, I am doing this on normal. This is just for the achievements. Um, it may not pop up on my screen, and I'm not even sure if it'll show where the skulls are. As you can see, I have probably a lot of achievements here. Most of the achievements I'm missing are just, you know, something that I need my friends help with. Maybe not that one. I could probably do that on my own. Just, hey, I'm probably too lazy. So, first mission, P um, come Pillar of Autumn. I'm gonna do that on normal. I'm gonna start off there. I'm gonna show you basically how to get around that. Uh, we're gonna find our first skull and read our first terminal. Uh, the other side achievements that we would have here are... Uh, where are they? Here we are. Walk it off on Legendary and Overshields are for sissies. Uh, I'll probably do a separate video for that, but for now we're just gonna basically go with uh, completing the mission, finding the first skull, and getting our first terminal. I won't show the terminals on this let's play, I mean, unless you guys want me to, let me know in the comments, I'll do it in a future reference, but for this first video, not today. Alright, let's get started. So we're gonna go to campaign. Uh, let's put this on normal. Skulls I'm gonna use. The bandana skull, which was recently added to this game for infinite ammo. Grunt funeral, nah, that's too crazy for that. Let's not use that. Let's, uh, piñata. Nah, let's not use that. Gun birthday party, those, those are good. Let's use that. All right, guys. Well, let's get it started. Um, I will be quiet at the cutscene so you guys can, you know, watch and enjoy. And in case you guys haven't played it, you probably guys probably have. Uh, this is in HD, so you guys can enjoy it in a very nice way. By the way, if you have not switched your video to HD yet, you should definitely get on that and get that done because this game looks amazing in HD, especially in this HD edition. Of edition. Oh, look, my game didn't freeze like last time. Good. Here we go. All I need to know is, did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. I'm gonna raise the volume so I can hear it on my TV. <sighs> we made a blind jump. How did they... Get here first? The Covenant ships have always been faster. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. In case you guys haven't realized, this game picks up from where Halo Reach left off. I mean, you guys should probably know about that uh, by, by now. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now. Nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple CCS-class battle groups. Make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. Fun fact, that group that is chasing them is actually the elite that becomes the Arbiter in Halo 2. Everyone, sir? Everyone. And Cortana. Hmm? Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. Attention, all combat personnel. Please report to your action. Like I said, guys, the graphics in this game, ever since they turn to HD, is just amazing. I mean, look at that. When you first played it, you didn't see nothing like this. All you saw was a bunch of darkness, partially. Another fact, in case you guys haven't realized, all the transactions of Sergeant Johnson's speech that's coming up right now, always, it's still the same. You know, depending on what, leg uh, what difficulty you're playing on. It's, he still says the same thing from the first game. If you play on Legendary, he'll say something different, heroic, normal, etc. Once again, it is our job to finish what the Fly Force started. We are leaving this ship platoon and 
engaging the Covenant on solid ground. When we meet the enemy, we will rip their skulls from their spine and toss them away laughing. Am I right, Marine? Sir, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out. Double time. <laughs> Dan Johnson's always been a great guy in the franchise to encourage the players to get into it. All you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close, this is gonna be your lucky day. It's too bad they killed him off in Halo 3. I mean, he probably would have been great in Halo 4. We have Lasky now. Sir? Right. Let's thaw him out. Okay. Bringing low level systems online. Cracking the case in 30 seconds. He's hot! Blowing the pins in five! Alright guys, here we go! Sorry for the quick thaw, Master Chief. Things are a little hectic right now. The disorientation should pass quickly. Welcome back, sir. We'll have you ready to go. Chief, please look around the room. I need to get a calibration reading for your battlesuits diagram. I know how to play this game. Good. Thank you, sir. I'm bringing your health monitors online, sir. Oh, why, thank you. i like to know if I'm alive or dead or not. Vital signs look normal. No freezer burn. Okay, sir. Go ahead and climb out of the cryo. Yeah, I get to get out. Hello, puny human. I gave you a double dose of the wake-up stim. Take a quick walk around the cryo bay and join me at the optical diagnostic station. This makes ready. no sense. Isn't Master Chief apparently supposed to be like tall as hell? How does guy? How am I able to see face to face with this guy? It makes no sense at all in this game. Oh, another fun fact about this game: you have we're not able to see your legs yet. So therefore, you did not have a shadow, which kind of sucked. All right, on to the first okay, sir, call. Look at me so we can begin. Shut up. Stand on the red square. Shut up. Anyway, the first skull, guys, will be right here. Like I said, I guess I was right. Because I already have it, you cannot see it. But if you go on your playthrough and have not picked up your skull yet, it will be right here. Can't really miss it. I mean, it's pretty well hidden, but, eh, whatever. Like I said, can't miss it. All right, let's keep moving get this done with. What do you want from me? I know the ordnance techs usually take care of your targeting sensors, but we're short of time, Chief. Just look at each of the flashing panels to target them. When you lock on, it'll change color. Okay, that looks good. Sir, I'm getting some calibration errors. I'm going to invert your looking stick, so you can see if you like it. No, I don't want to invert. Try targeting the flashing light. Oh, come on, I hate inverted. I mean, like I'm retarded. Better, or should I switch it back? Switch it back. Thank okay. you. Try looking up and down again, please. Do you want me to leave it like that, or switch it again? Leave it like that. Okay, I'll leave the pitch normal. But if you want, you can change it yourself later. I'm ready for the energy shield test now. Why am I getting all these tutorial hints? I already know how to play the fucking game. Oh, they're coming to get us. We gotta repel them. We must fight. What's my sensitivity on? Oh, wrong thing. Okay, I'm on three. Good. Something I actually heard a rumor of. I don't know if it was true. It was okay, proven by a MOG guy that if you play on a higher sensitivity um, than three, you actually like lose an advantage in something. I've never, I never really remember what they told me. Wait, what's going on? Ow! That hurt. All right, because you guys haven't noticed, um, if you hit the back button, you could actually switch back to the first time you know the way the game was before I mean you can see the difference in his game the lighting you know and the lighting is very horrible compared to how it is in HD yeah, look at that you can barely light up the whole room and everyone looks the same like look at that guy that guy looks retarded like he actually has hair and everything You know, if you actually read the book, they actually tell you a little bit about Sam's life there, you know, what he plans to do. Um, The book was uh, The Flood. That's what it was called. If you guys ever get a chance to pick that up, it's actually a pretty good book. I read it. Enjoyed it very much. Yeah, that guy's gonna go over there and die. Yeah, poor guy. 
Damn. Nice ass. Alright, anyway, let's move on. Jump over here. There's really nothing over here, guys. You know, just standard shit. Go to Cryo Room B. Alright, um, Cryo Room B in the book, uh, The Flood, and I believe in The Fall of Reach, you get a little information about, um, Linda, which is the Spartan 2 sniper. One of the best snipers they ever had that was part of Master Chief's graduation class. She's actually in the Pillar of Autumn, which later on in the game, I'll show you exactly where you can find her. But she, she's no use because she's practically, she's frozenly dead. Oh shit, hello. Yeah, another fun fact about um Halo, I don't know if it's true or not, but I've always believed it, that... When they first made Halo, they actually intentionally tried to make it into a horror game. That's why you kind of heard that creepy music back there. Uh, so, I mean, honestly, they did a good job, especially when they introduced the Flood. You know, spoiler, spoiler, in case you guys haven't already know about them, but I hope you guys do. I, I'm not a big fan of spoiling. Oh, he got shot. I don't... I'm not a big fan of spoiling things, you guys. But yeah, that's actually a little information there. They tried to make it into a horror game, and it actually went more of a shooting game compared to a horror game. So that's why Halo 2 came out to be the way that is. Uh, right here you have a little, you know, your little board. Bunch of shit. Someone found a cat. Someone's missing a goose. Uh, something about a unicorn for you bronies. Not really a big fan of bronies, but whatever. There it is. Uh, here's a little, um, Easter egg here. You have a troll face here. This hasn't been. This wasn't found until like about a good few months into the game. I don't know what it's supposed to represent or something. Uh, this is also uh, Requiem, because this game was made in the process of Halo 4 being made, so they threw that on there as a little teaser for Halo 4's upcoming. Before is when we all thought it was Reach and everything. Well, now we know it's Requiem, the Dark Planet Toad Rising. Whatever. It's like a book. All right, guys. Um. Here is your terminal. You know, you hit X, you get to see the terminal. You know, you get your achievements, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, I'm not showing you that. That is for you to see, unless you guys want to see the terminals in, you know, my playthroughs. I gladly do it. Let me know in the comment section below, or send me a message, whatever. Uh, let's see. Really, nothing they can really do here. You know, shit. Uh, one thing I do like about this, especially back then, when I actually fell down here for the first time, I was fucking confused. I didn't know what was going on. I thought I died or something. If I had to guess, it's probably the observation deck. I guess, like, you know, how every of these ships has these. This is more like in the... Since the uh, Pillar of Autumn is actually a very old-class ship in the UNSC um, arsenal, especially in the frigates, they probably made this a little less classy compared to the Spirit of Fire's observation deck, which is way better and way more amazing if you guys have played Halo Wars. Uh... What else? Right. This is something else that I never understood. If you look from here, you see that the ship's cannon is practically... I mean, through the naked eye, it looks like it's over the ring. And it probably isn't. Probably because of how the camera's facing. But it also makes you wonder how the hell did Keys land the ship, unless he landed in the outer side over there. You know, across the ring. But, yeah. A few questions I've always wondered I never got answers to. Alright, let's move on. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. A dozen Covenant Superior battleships against a single Halcyon class prisoner. With those odds, I'm content with three. Make that four kills. Sleep well? No thanks to your driving, yet. So you did miss me. Report! It must have been one of their boarding parties. I guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am, fire control for the main cannon is offline. Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right, then. I'm initiating cold protocol article two. We're abandoning the audio. That means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a manner of speaking. The object we found, I'm going to try and land the autumn on it. With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. I appreciate your concern, Cortana, but it's not up to me. Protocol is clear. 
Destruction or capture of the shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones, upload them to my neural lace, and then sort yourself for a heart transfer. Aye, aye, sir. Which is where you come in, Chief. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research. Earth. I understand. The Autumn will continue evasive maneuvers until you initiate a landing sequence. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines handle the final approach. Excellent work, Cortana. Thank you. Are you ready? I forgot the reason, but in one of the books, it explains that when this situation was happening, the Covenant already knew where Earth was. And it actually was Key's fault that that happened. But no one knew yet. So, um, I forgot what book that was, but I don't remember they explained it in one of the books. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, leave more of the reason to, um, the like, read the books, because, you know, you get a lot of information. I mean, when I first read the books, I was like, wow. I don't keep it loaded, son. You'll have to find ammo as you go. Alright, I already got my grenades and everything because of the bandana skull. Alright, well, let's go kick some ass. Now, oh, there's Jose, guys. You know, my little friend, everyone gets one. Now, like I said before, here's a little more closer look at the trophies. Alright, let's kick some butt. Here we have your grunt. Not really too much to say about them. Pretty easy people. Shoot them in the head once. Get a nice, nice kill. Those Marines could use some help, Chief. One of our most powerful power weapons of this game was actually the pistol. I mean, I don't know if I could do it on normal, let's find out. Oh yeah, you can. Shoot the enemies three times the head. Fucking kick the crap out of them. She was like a fucking sniper rifle. And I was a really big fan of it though in firefights. I was a fan of the AR. 60 clips, very strong, has nice range, nice um crowd control. Something I've always loved in shooting games, something that could give me more control over the battlefield. On the grenade types, I wasn't always a big fan of the plasma, um, plasma grenades at first. You know, because they were more, you know, big and they didn't really stick as well until, until the, until Hill 2. Sorry about the stuttering there, I was kind of trying to read that. And you know, we have a little lunch menu. Oh, well, a little like menu. That's weird. What's oh, ar what is that like? Orange soda or orange juice? Let me really explain. Oh, it's orange juice because there's soda down here. The chef special with a soda and chef surprise. That sounds fucking. That sounds delightful. Nah, uh, I think I'll probably take a cheeseburger with lemonade. Yeah, I don't, I don't like coffee. Meatloaf dinner. Why would you drink? Why would you take a meatloaf with hot chocolate? I mean, unless you can probably like say just like for instance, I'll take cheeseburger with uh, fuck it a soda, fuck unhealthy, like that. But I mean, or I hope it's like that. I hope it's not like oh you pick that, so you now you gotta take this and that. One of those two. That would, that would suck ass. All right, well let's move on. That guy got fucked up. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll try not to curse too much in case we have, you know, um, younger viewers. Kind of apologize if I do. Kind of how I am. I'm a very rageful person. Right, like I was saying about the grenades. Um, I used to be a big fan of the frag grenades. The frag grenade was like a fucking mini. Damn it, there I go cursing again. It was like a miniature nuke. I mean, watch. Look at that. Oh my god. It just could murder and clear the area. That was another thing I liked about the grenades in this game. Nice crowd control. Oh, that marine got in my way. Plenty of fire. Uh, guys, here is your first time when you can pick up an overshield. And the legendary. Remember it says, the achievement said not to go about the mission without picking up the overshield. I mean, it's not like it's going to be presented in front of you. You could easily miss it. It's not that hard. Just the fact that you're on legendary, so you have to be careful. It took me a few tries. I probably died a few times trying to do it. I don't really remember. Uh, the health packs, on the other hand, though... What's that guy doing? On the other end, though, are kind of something you gotta keep an eye out. Because if you try to hug the wall while taking fire, you can accidentally pick one up. That's happened to me the first time I did it. And one thing 
that was bad about this game is that it's not like your other Halo games where you could reserve to the last checkpoint and you know it would reset everything for you. No, it's not like that. If you mess up the achievement once, you are screwed. You have to reset the mission and everything. There's no way they'll let you go back. So sadly, three for three kind of messed us over on that. Which I mean, they may. I don't really blame them. They wanted to be more professional, more skill instead of cheap. Which I kind of like that. I like that I'm getting my achievements. Like I said, guys, this is normal. So I'm a pretty nice Halo player compared to your other guys. I mean, I've seen some pretty nice let's play of other people you know, really kicking ass. Oh, damn it, I go cursing again. And. You know, like I said, it also matter the fact that this is on normal. Since I want to get through these videos quickly, I don't want this you guys to be sitting there for like hours just for me to finish up and explain what it, what you're looking for. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I forgot how to crouch. That's something else that I hated about this game: the crouch system. Oh my god, that this system is horrible. What is behind me? Because you can't even crouch. The only way you can crouch walk is by leaning forward on the mouse. I mean the mouse, sorry, the thumb pad. <laughs> I'm thinking about the Halo, I'm thinking about the computer version. If you crouch and just move slightly, you crouch walk. But if you just launch up all the way, no, you're, you're gonna be running. Basically, what you do is that you stop every now and then and like um, go down. So you're basically teabagging the floor while you're crouching. I'm trying to double check, make sure that we don't have a shadow. I think, yeah, we don't have a shadow. On some occasion, it'll look like you have a shadow, but you don't. I also still question why people say that this was one of the best Halo games. I mean, I like it, but I'm not crazy about it. I'd probably say my favorite Halo game. That's a hard one. I don't think I have one because all the Halo games are just great. I mean, I've, I'm a big nerd to the franchise. I dedicate a lot of my time to this. Shit, I gotta reload on both my guns. God damn it, die. I will admit one thing though is that I really did love the way um, they did the voices for the AIs on this. Especially the Marines. They're, they're fucking hilarious. Oh my god, me and my cursing. They're hilarious. Uh, I, you know, I mean, you can interact with them. They interact with you. Like, if you stare, let's see if I get one to interact with If you stare at them long enough, they'll say something to you. So he's not gonna say nothing. But if you hit him, oh. Well, you killed them, but see, you see the other Marines kind of reacted to me killing him by mistake. <laughs> oh my god, you saw that grenade is freaking broken. I think hit me from over here. Either that or the um, plasma rifle shot hit me. I don't know what hit me, but something hit me. You see how, how unbalanced everything in this game was. Even for a game that, you know, revolutionized gaming. I'm pretty sure all you Call of Duty fans out there think, oh no, Call of Duty made gaming what it is today. And actually, no, it didn't, guys. It was because of Halo. This Halo, Halo 1, came out and took gaming to the whole new level. That's what it did. We have to use the ship's maintenance access ways. Follow the nav point, it will lead you to an opening. Nice little information there about the little nav points. Uh, LB, yeah, something else. This is something else that you gotta love about Halo 1. You had a flashlight, but you had a little bar on it. In Halo 2, they fixed that and took that off. All oh, the creepy music. And um, they took that off, you know, you basically have a flashlight forever. I'm detecting covenant movement outside the access way. Activating motion track. Find a safe See, if you're looking like I am, you'll get the game on a very, like, tutorial tutorial um mission like this, and you'll get all this, like, inside information. You can stealth around this area, you get your motion tracker finally, like, halfway through the mission. Catch that guy off guard, wake him up, and then, you know, just start gun blazing. Halo gives you more of a... 
how should I say, more of a choice. You can really play stealth-like, or you can just go in there gun blazing. But they really just suggest... Oh look, where we started earlier. It looks like Thank God for bulletproof shields. Or glasses. Shield, glasses, whatever. You, you expect their shields now since technology is so advanced. Anyway, Halo gives you a lot of different variety on how to play the game. You can play very stealth-like, you're running their gun blazing, and just, you know, just really go in. This is uh, what I was talking about earlier. This is where we started. You know, uh, gives you a little, little information about how John was, or Master Chief, as some people may know him. Yeah, vital signs. This is what I was talking about earlier. This is Linda. Linda's vital signs are. You can't see nothing about it, but you know she was treated here. Now, question is, there's only one pod. Where was she treated at? Well, guys, if you walk right over here, instead of walking up that way, take this turn here, and here we have. Well, same information as before on the screen, but here we have Linda's information. This is all blocked off here. I would assume Linda's probably in that, that in there. I don't know what the hell that is. Or maybe like there's another cryo chamber on behind these walls. But yeah, Linda's there, and she is dead. Have well, no, she's like literally dead. Uh, what's keeping her alive is the fact that <clears throat> all her organs. And her whole entire body is actually frozen. So, she's. I don't even know what to call I don't know if there's a word for that. Yeah, that's something I should probably warn you guys about. When you get to this part, be careful because there's like a whole big explosion. Somehow this guy lived that because he's Jesus, but he just ate a bullet and died. Sorry about that, guys. I was receiving something. Um, something else that I forgot to point out about this game. If, oh, um, freaking Edwin, Jose's friends. Anyway, uh, if you look here, you can hit this elite body, but you know, you show a little blood on the floor, but it disappears quickly. Like you know, you see it right there. I'm not really gonna go sh look at that. Now, if you go back to the old days, this is something I really missed about Halo. How? Gory this game was. Look at that. If you just beat the crap out the body, you just splatter his blood all over the place. Look at this. Oh my god. It's like fucking someone needs to come with a mop and clean this place up. Same with the grunts. No. Oh, there we go. There. Some, there it goes. Or at least have blue blood. They have, I mean, at least have purple blood. Grunts have blue blood. Make it more fun. You can pick up a plant and it's like you're literally punching them to death. Oh, right, this is something else that I should probably point out. If you guys look up, the gun looks more, I, I think, fake was it? And if you look down, it looks more real. Well, not in this one, but in, in the other Halo games. Uh, I don't have Black Ops 2, leave me alone. But maybe in HD, yeah, here we go. In HD, if you look up, the gun looks fake in the lighting. But if you look down, and the lighting actually looks pretty real. Um, another point that I wanted to point out is if the pistol. If you look at the screen... The pistol actually takes up almost the whole screen. Compare it back to the old days, it took like only like half of the screen. So the pistol was literally short. Like you would think this ain't even a nine millimeter pistol. It was actually shorter than that. Compared to when it came into HD, they actually made it the true length of a nine millimeter gun. All right, that's enough about me rambling. Let's move on here. Kill these guns. One, two, three, pretty easily. I mean, I have any trouble with them, just pop a grenade, kill them pretty easily. Uh, yeah, I gotta go this way. Right here, you get a nice advantage on them. Pop a grenade, you help with some Marines. I guess, guys, you guys probably think this game's pretty easy and everything. It all depends on the difficulty. You can see I'm playing, I'm just running in there, guns blazing, because I already know the game in and out. And, you know, I could actually survive compared to most people. They'll probably run in here, guns blazing, get their butt kicked. Then at that, I'm also using a skull, which gives me an infinite of everything. <laughs> so you can say I'm cheating in a way. Uh, I should probably point out, one thing I always hate about the defense of this game was that it always shows the target as a big red dot. Now, that's good and bad in multiple occasions. Because us true Halo fans, well, the game side, not the, not the parts that read the book and go for the story, we only know it now that that's, that, that's a vehicle. In Halo 1, you couldn't distinguish if you were going to go around a corner or on a bigger map, not a map like this, whether it was a vehicle or an enemy. 
Well, as you know, they stood still like these marines. You actually see them as one dot. See that? There's someone like a dot. Alright, well, let me finish rambling here and move on. Now would be a very good time to leave. My God, the autumn got got beat up pretty bad. We're gonna make it, aren't we, sir? I don't want to die out here. Look. You kind of wonder how the Master Chief survived that. If I still had fingers, the fact that he's standing and everyone else is sitting, they all still, you know, well, I won't say what happens, but I kind of really did, you know, everyone else dies and Master Chief lives, but it's weird. Alright guys, that's the end of the first mission. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip the second mission beginning cutscene. I don't want to spoil that for anybody. You know, we'll pick that up next time on Let's Play. Combat Evolve Halo Anniversary. You know, we'll go over it. Like I said, leave me information on the comment section whether you want to see the terminals. Like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos. And we will go through this game. Try and I will try and make these videos weekly. And you know, we'll go from there. So, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, comment, comment, my English, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. This is Dark Shot 2, or Great Dark Shot 2, as some of you guys know me, or even Ernesto. Some people don't even know my real name in real life. Signing off. Have a good day, guys.